Hello friends, in this video we will know how to organize a model. So we will know how to create a geometry and organize it into components. Organizing elements into components, rename components, identify and delete empty components, delete all the geometry lines, reorder components, renumber them, create assembly and organize the constraints. So I go to the HyperMesh software. To understand all these features, we will open up a file. So I go to this open and suppose I select this file that is bumper.hm and open this file. If we go to the model tree, in this we can see we have five components. I expand this, we have center, mid one, mid two, and and rigid. So if you want to create more component into this, so we can create them by going to component option. To create a new component, we can either go to this model tree, make a right click on this, go to create and select component. We can also go to collector, create component. Also we can directly go to this option of component. So I select this component option. In this we have three options, create, update and assign. So I want to create a new component, so select create and then component name. Suppose the name I insert that is geometry, give it some color, make sure that this color is different from these five colors and then no card image and no property. Select create. Now we can see a geometry component has been created. So I go to return and then drag this component. So I rotate this component and let us see which part has which component. So if I go to the center and turn off this meshing part, we can see this is the center part. This is the mid one part, mid two end part like this. Okay. So if we want to move this component into any other component, like I want to move all this into the geometry component. So we can do this by going to organize section. To go to the organize, we have option for organize, go to tools and we have option organize. Select this. Now it is asking us to select a collector. In the collector we have elements. So in the options I select surface and then select the surface. Click on the surface option and select all. So all the surfaces are selected and the destination. Click on this destination. I want geometry and then click move click return and now we can see if I turn off this meshing part turn off meshing and our surface has been moved to the geometry right now we can see surfaces are not showing so to show the surfaces we can go to the option of shaded geometry view click on this and now we can see the surfaces but right now we had not moved the meshing part so we can remove the meshing by going to the elements. If I turn off this, we can see all the part is hidden. So in this way, we can organize components. Also, we can move the meshing. So I turn on this meshing like this. Turn on meshing and then go to organize. This time I select elements. Elements. Suppose I select all. And then destination is geometry. We can select geometry and click move and now all the meshing has been moved to this geometry part. Okay. We can turn it on, turn it off like this. So in this way we can move from one component to another. If you want to make some changes into the name of the component, we can rename it. Just go to the component. Suppose I go to this geometry, make a right click and we can rename this. Go to rename and we can now give it some name. Just like I give this name shell and press enter. In this way we can rename this. In some cases like we have very complex geometry and we want to delete those components in which we don't have any surfaces. So in this type of problems we can remove the component. Go to this delete option. In the delete option select component. Go to components and click on preview empty. So empty components are highlighting and click delete. So now we can see all the empty components has been deleted and go to return. So in this way we can organize the model.